Okay, this video is going to be about driving, operating the drum, pumping water, how all the controls work inside your mobile mixer. Um, we're going to go through step for step what each lever does, how to operate the drum the correct way, how to lift the boom the correct way without damaging anything. So we'll step inside. Okay, inside the cab of your machine, operating it is fairly simple but it is very easy to make a mistake if you are not aware of what you are doing with the machine. All of the controls needed to operate the drum, your water system, the scales is done from inside here. Um, so starting from the left hand side, you've got your drive controls, which is your forward and reverse, forward, neutral, reverse, you've got low range, neutral and high range, this is for your transfer case, because this machine is 4x4. So on the middle of your dash here, you have all of your buttons to control most of what's going on. This button is for your pressure washer to clean out the drum. The pressure washer is mounted on the side of the machine and uses the water inside the water tank. This is for your water pump to pump water into the drum where you are mixing your concrete. Windshield washer, your windshield on and off, spotlights on the top of the cab. Then you have an indicator stalk where your main lights are found as well as indicating left and right while you are driving. Then on this side you have this controller. This is for a vibrating motor which is found on the un underneath of your lifting bucket. This is to turn the vibrating motor on and off if you do have wet or damp material that's sticking to the corners of the bucket. So you switch it on all the way to nine different vibration settings depending how difficult the material is to move out. Then all the way on your side here, this is where you have your manual accelerator, so you don't have to keep your foot on the pedal while the drum is mixing, for things that require a lot of hydraulic pressure. To operate it is simple, pull the button in, as you lift it up, your revolutions of the engine will increase, and that is where it will stay until you drop it down. On your joystick, joystick is for the lifting bucket on the front. If you Lift by pulling back, drop by pulling forward, curl the bucket up, curl the bucket down. Then you've got two toggle switches. One is for the door to offload your material in the lifting bucket into the drum. So this opens and closes the door. This button is to switch on and off your vibrating motor. These three controls here are for the usage of the drum. The red one determines which direction the drum is turning. So it will either be mixing one way, nothing in the middle, and discharge to pull the lever to the other side. Then your drum also rotates 270 degrees outwards. By doing pushing the lever this way, the drum will rotate out, and by pulling it back towards you, the drum will come back. The drum can also tilt up and down by using these two levers. It's always important to remember that the drum is all the way back in the middle position before you lift the arms so that the hydraulic arms do not hit the top of your bucket. Then way all the way at the back, you can find your, your control for your handbrake, which is operated by pulling and releasing. And to engage your handbrake, you just pull it towards you. That's all the manual controls on the inside of the cab. Okay, inside your cab, you also have a backup camera. You can find on top here. It has one camera on the side of the drum and also one way at the back. So you simply have a power button to switch it on and off, and then you can cycle through different views. In this view, you can see both the side camera as well as the rear camera, and by pressing the V1, V2 button, you can change through the views to only see the side view or the rear view. And if you press it again, you go back to the split view where you can see both. Also in your cab, behind the driver's seat, you can find your radio, and underneath the seat, the aircon controls are found over here. Okay, so to use your vibrating motor, always make sure that the bucket is lifted slightly off the ground. Always remember to curl the bucket all the way up before you lift it any further. As such, your vibrating motor can be found on the bottom of the skip. So by turning it on, you engage by turning this knob, 
between setting one and nine depends how intense you want the motor. So you can start from low, and then you can go all the way. And as you switch it off, just hit the toggle again. Okay, so you open the bucket when you are discharging material into the top of your bin, you operate the opposite tip trigger. So when the bucket is up above the drum, you hit the trigger to open the door. Your material will fall out. You hit the opposite button to close it again. And then you are done with that. Then you place the bucket back down on the ground. So to turn and rotate your drum, you use these three controls found down here. So depending on if you want to mix or discharge, you will push the red loop side to side. By doing this, then the drum will engage rotation. So that is discharge. In neutral, the drum will stop, pull it towards you. That is where it is mixing. So you can keep it in the mixing position while you are driving to where you are going to discharge your drum. The drum can also tilt up and down and rotate out to 270 degrees. So to rotate your drum, you use the middle lever by pulling it away from you. That is the tilting lever. You can tilt all the way down. This will make it easier to discharge some of your material. Pulling the lever towards you lifts the drum back up. And then to rotate, you use the last lever. Push it away from you. And then the drum will rotate all the way out. In theory, if you are pouring concrete next to the machine, you can have the drum rotated outwards. You can tilt the drum down. And you can discharge. You can also rotate the drum while you are discharging or while you are driving. Always remember to make sure the drum is tilted all the way upwards before you bring it back in to avoid hitting the side of the machine. Also remember to make sure the drum is rotated all the way back until it hits its stopping point before you lift the boom otherwise it will damage the lifting arms of the bucket. Okay. Before you start driving your machine, before you start it, always make sure it is in neutral. Let's give your forward neutral reverse. One kick forward, back, then it's in neutral. Put on the brake, ignition key on. Okay, starts, your backup screen will come on. Then, before you start driving, make sure you have enough air pressure, which should be about 0 0.8 bar before you start driving, and then this gauge on the right hand side gives your oil pressure inside the gearbox. You can see your fuel, battery voltage, and your gear. Before you start driving, put on the brake, neutral. If you aren't driving on rough ground and it's relatively flat, use it in high range, disengage your handbrake, and then if you release your brake, then you will start moving. Always make sure you can see what's going on next to the machine and on this side because the cab is offset from the front wheels it can be a bit confusing. Always make sure you see where you're going. Use the cameras and off we go.
Oh, it's important. We're going to load sand from this pile over here. So you see my line up in front of it. Nickel first, you're going to lower your bucket down. Don't put the bucket flat on the ground, otherwise you're just going to be scraping up dirt from the floor. Keep it relatively low. Just be getting close to your pile. And then drive it into your sand pile. And you have sand in your bucket. Always make sure the bucket is filled all the way up before you start loading. Then you lift it. Well, stop. So you're on above the catching sheet of the bucket and then you can open the door. And all your sand will fall inside. If you aren't sure if you've got everything out, you can always use your motor to vibrate. Down. Make sure to close the door before you take the next load. This is it. And then repeat the process. If it is a quite a thick pile, you're more than welcome to put the machine into low range. Add a bit more power. Okay, they have a nice full bucket. Welcome to the Intelligent Brain System. So after you have loaded weight into your bucket, then as you lift it upwards, you will see it for the computer will wave. And now we know we have 320 kilograms of sand inside the bucket. Always use the camera and keep looking around you while you are conversing. The safest option is always to have someone else watching for you and directing you as you are driving. You can also use the mirror on the right hand side. Again, we are going to lift it. Okay. Then we are going to discharge this bucket into our drum as well. Get it all the way up. That buzzer we will explain in one minute. All the way up. Open the door. Door open.
So it's gonna sound like... Like that. That means there's a no-no. Same procedure as previously. Put on the brake, forward, high range. Drop your handbrake. We are now off to go and offload our mix. Make sure you can see where you are going when you are driving. We will be carrying our mix over our ledge here. Always before you start turning your drum, make sure that the beam arm is lowered back down so that the drum doesn't hit it. Either all the way flat or if you're going to be driving, keep it halfway up in the air. Then we are going to rotate our drum out. If there is a lot of weight, you can increase the ribs. Like that. Drop it down. And then we can start disturbing. If you are pouring a column, you can also engage the drive. But make sure you raise on the eye, otherwise you are going to be driving very fast. So is going to be an accurate pour, for example if you are pouring a ditch and you need to aim the concrete a bit better, the machine does come with two discharge extensions which you can put onto the front of the, the discharge sheet of the machine. So empty, you can bring your bucket, bucket back up to the garden position. Go back and load more material. Neutral, neutral, handbrake on. Drop it back down to the ground. Drop Job done for the day. <laughs> 